Wonderful people, fellow couch gamers, thank you for tuning in to Couch Gaming TV. In this short tutorial video I will explain to you all how to unlimited layer your walls and how to interconnect walls as well as how to place walls into the mesh without having the mesh destroy them. First trick. Let's say you have some inter Let's say you have some intricate design plans. But it's not possible in ARC, because ARC will not allow you to intersect your walls. Now there's a little trick for this, and unfortunately not many people have figured this out yet, hence I'm making a video. But, but this method, actually all these methods, have been available, as far as I know, since day one. Well, I've been playing this game for four years now, and I believe it is out for five years. So it might not have been possible before. But I think it was. So, here's the trick to use angled walls. So we have this one over. Yeah, no, here I believe. And we wanted to place a metal wall here. And now this is possible because the angled walls have a smaller hitbox. As you can see, if we replace a metal wall. On the angled wall it sticks out further so the hitbox stops right where the where the wall stops basically but the funny thing about it it also counts as a half wall so it counts as a fence as hitbox but it has a smaller hitbox than a fence so let's place a wall here and now we can replace this with another wall They are at different height because I double layer this, so this would be possible to show you an example real quick. So you can do it um, anywhere. Sometimes you can even put a metal wall without having to use two fence foundations. See, smaller hitbox without having to use two angled walls. But if it's not possible, you just use two angled walls. If this doesn't work, you see it's red now. And if you place it down, it will break down instantly. It should break down instantly, in this case it did. But that's unfortunate and that might happen a few times, which might lead to a few, a little bit loss in some resources. But if that happens, you can always put your wall in front of it. I'm using fence foundation now, just to point that out, but it doesn't matter. It might lead to height differences, which you can see right here, which has nothing to do with the lower foundation because they're both connected on a fence foundation. But as you can see, anything, anything is really possible with this. Go straight through, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter anything. 99% of the cases it is possible with angled walls. And I would suggest using wood walls. Because they are thin. They are thin just as metal. That's a little bit thicker. Which might ruin the trick here and there. So I would, I would suggest using wood. And now let's say you have some foundations built. That are clipped into the mesh. And you want to wall them off. This happens a lot on cliff platforms. And the game doesn't allow you. What you can do, I know I'm using creative mode now, but all my settings are tuned to multiplayer, to online settings. And again, you can use angled walls. I don't know why I turned that one around. Force of habit, I guess. And then just replace them with metal walls. Or with the wall of your choosing. Now, on to the final trick. How to use this. Zero fence foundations. I know this is double layered, but it doesn't matter. Let's put a new foundation down just to show you guys how easy this is works on uh, triangles as well and on squares this is really easy it's stupid first step have foundation down you're probably gonna have that if you have a base second step connect the wall to it make sure the wall is facing outwards so you can connect a ceiling to the outer side i would suggest using square ceilings because if you do not use square ceilings triangle ceilings work as well 
but they might lead to height difference. As you can see here, this can be fixed, but this requires uh, a necessary amount of fiddling. But as you can see, it can be fixed. Though I would just suggest using uh, regular ceilings and then just rinse and repeat. Make sure it's connected to the outer wall. Connect another wall on it, but make sure it's facing outwards again. Reclaim your ceiling. Attach the ceiling to the final wall again. And just rinse and repeat. It's as easy as that. If the walls collapse, it's because you had it facing inwards. If the walls don't want to connect, it's because you had it facing inwards. So let's show an example here. I'm going to leave this one inwards. And now, because we are over 4, it should collapse. It collapsed it. If we are not over 4, and we do that, we will not be able to attach another ceiling to it, because the ceiling wants to go to the inside. As you can see, ceiling wants to go to the inside. Not good. You don't want to do that. And if you have a base built, trust me, you don't want to go higher than 4. 4 will lead to pain when you reach max object uh, limits and you have some stuff to place down. And 5 will lead to agony. Believe me, I tried 5 in my own base uh, a couple of times. Stick with 4. Stick with 4. But just, just to show you guys, if you're on a server without object limits, I mean, I have a perfect example here. You can do this unlimited. There doesn't seem to be a um, max limit. So that was it. I hope you all learned something new. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.